Well, the sad news for St Johnston. Steve Maskray hasn't made it after his fitness battle over the last week. So Alec Totten's men have to do without their top scorer for this afternoon's match. Stuart Sorby wears Maskray's number seven for what is sure to be an attacking 4-3-3 formation. And the St Johnston goalkeeper John Balovic has been a hero in their cup run so far, a very important figure in defence since joining from Albion Rovers five years ago, and he faces the biggest test of his career this afternoon. And Rangers are unchanged on the side, which beat Motherwell last week. They're still without the suspended Ian Ferguson, but none of these players have Scottish Cup winners' medals. Ray Wilkins and Gary Stevens have FA Cup medals from their days with Manchester United and Everton, but they all have ambitions in Scottish Cup terms. And none of them any more than Ali McCoy, who has captured a full set of honours since beginning his senior career with today's opponents, St Johnston. So referee Andrew Waddell gets the semi-final underway in front of a huge crowd inside Celtic Park. St Johnston in their normal blue strips, Rangers in their chain strips of red and white. And St Johnston, must be said, bringing a very substantial support down from Perth. They've had around 65 busloads of fans coming down here. A special train has made its way to Celtic Park and, of course, many others making their own way by car, so St Johnston certainly not without support. And there's the Barron playing it forward, Roddy Grant's layoff. Grant trying a first shot of the match and it's Stevens turning it back and Woods turning that behind for a corner kick, a little moment of uncertainty there in the Rangers defence. Well, Woods took a knock blow around the chest there as that ball came in from Grant it was deflected Stevens didn't catch that properly and as Heddle came sliding in Woods took a knock as he turned that behind for the corner slid away by Goff this is Sammy Johnston that came off Sterland he's managed to avoid another corner kick and there's going to be some trouble for the St Johnston centre forward Roddy Grant for a late tackle on Sterland. Referee Andrew Waddle taking severe action inside the first couple of minutes of the match. So in the director's box, the Scotland national coach Andy Roxborough with his number two, Craig Brown, beside him. Headed on by Brown again. There's Walters taking on Thompson. Thompson certainly very experienced indeed but very quick also renowned in the professional sprint circles Walters playing it in to the side netting Balavej watching it carefully Mark Walters once again trying to test this St Johnston defence for the first time shot which Balavej covered at the post you have to feel that the Saints manager, Alec Totten, must be very happy with the way things have gone early in the match. St Johnston have certainly carried the match to Rangers early on. He did promise an attacking policy this afternoon, and that's certainly been borne out. this was it was Drinkle going through then Balovic was committed that's good goalkeeping comes <laughs> challenge that from Thompson Walters was the victim and the wigging goes to the St Johnston fullback a free kick to Rangers well, just plays it in yep, goes Butcher now Goff slapped away by Cherry on as far as Wilkins All very untidy at the edge of the box. Cherry thumps it away. Everyone inside the St Johnston half now, except for Swoops. Here's Walters. Delightful control. Nick Vicker takes it to safety, but it's collected by Brown. This is Wilkins. Now Monroe. Good shot to Stevens. Oh, 
poised. Sherry wins it. Good running by Stevens once again. Headed away by Jenkins. Real danger there for St Johnston. Still the pressure is on with Brown and Walters. Suddenly, St Johnston now under immense pressure. There was the play, ball played across by Stevens, turned away by Jenkins. Johnston tried to turn. Here's Jenkins, pedal on the left. Well tackled by Stevens. This is Grant. Roddy Grant again. That comes off Butcher, and that's a corner kick to St Johnston. St Johnston is under the call of the last 10 minutes or so, but taking this opportunity to put pressure on Rangers themselves. Well, some work for the ambulance man, the crowd spilling a little, it certainly is packed behind John Balavage's goal. There's Wilkins again, Stern with his space on the right. Barron's header, helped on by Cherry. Thompson in the head of Walters, there's Wilkins once more looking for Brown. Good play by John Brown, chance for big goal! Well, Kevin Drinkle only inches away. This is brilliant play from John Brown, look at the way he beats Tommy Coyle, sprinting for the byline, playing it across the six-yard box and Drinkle couldn't reach it. Johnston's header, Ed. It's Grant on the turn. Good challenge by Goff. Well timed and Eddie Grant stopped in his tracks. Full throw to St Johnston. There's Don McVicker, the full back. Cross in. Harry Stevens was in the way. A long throw into the danger area. Woods is in trouble. There's Stuart Monroe coming around the back. Good play by the fullback. Look at the problem caused by this long throw. A fumble, in fact, by Woods, and Stuart Monroe reacted very quickly indeed. Very uncharacteristic that from Woods. There's Don McVicker again. Right into the danger area. Butcher wins it. McVicker again. Oh, that will be disappointing for the St. Johnston skipper. Slicing that behind to the goal kick. Graham Sunnis looking very pensive indeed as well he might in the director's box. Things not going easily for Rangers at the moment. Alan's clearance not too decisive, collected by Drinkle, this is Brown. Looking for Drinkle. Well taken by Balavage, a powerful header from Drinkle. Well, Drinkle had an option here, as this ball came in, he could head for goal, or perhaps try to find McCoy in the middle, floating out towards the top corner, but Balavage had it covered. Turned out by Sterling. Vicker again looking for Grant. Here's Sorby. Grant flashing there at the edge of the box with Goff and then with Sterling. Here's Kenny Thompson. Jenkins turning away from Wilkins. Sword visits on pass, there's Sammy Johnston. Pressure play again from St Johnston, here's Kenny Thompson. And no one on the far side of the box for St Johnston, it's Gary Stevens who tidies up. Frankel's header, there's 
Aaron. Koist. Herstellend. Rick is Clemens, Koost voor Rangers trouw. Header goes to Johnston. Terry Butcher there ahead of Stuart Sorby. Rangers starting a build up from the back with Monroe and then Butcher. There's Goff. Trinkle, Malovic comes to claim it. Steve is left with no option but to play it back to Woods. Good throw out from Woods to Monroe. Running by the fullback, Cherry goes to meet him. Still, Stuart Monroe coming all the way himself. And Balavage stops it well at the byline. What a great surging play this from Stuart Monroe. Trying the one two with McCoy's, but Paul Cherry was alive to that. And Balavage was quick going down. A Sorby. Now Grant. Looking for Tommy Coyle. Just as well, Woods was there. Boyle had sneaked in on the blind side. Woods reacted well. Here's John Brown now in the break. Good coming play from midfield by Jenkins initially, and then Barron helping out. Both the Andrew Waddle checking with his linesman for the end of the first half, checking his watch now. by Johnston giving the throw to Rangers. We pick it into Sips again, that's for Roddy Grant. He has Butcher marking him. There's Gary Stevens with the clearance. And McCoyst. Kenny Thompson steps in rapidly for St. Johnston. They've given their former player, Halle McCoy, no space at all this afternoon. And there goes the half-time whistle. St. Johnston manager like Totten leaves the dugout with every reason to be proud of his team. They've performed superbly in this first half. They have attacked at every opportunity, they've defended resolutely and they've contributed massively to what has been a tremendous semi-final so far. There are the St Johnston fans applauding their team off the field. The half-time score, St Johnston nil, Rangers nil. The Rangers get the second half underway. And the leader will have had some tough talking, I fancy, from their manager again as soon as at half-time because he certainly did not look to be the length of the Premier League plus ahead of St. Johnston in that first half. Never really settled to any rhythmic pattern of play and allowed St. Johnston to unsettle them frequently in defence. So there may well be a change of gear, I think, for Rangers at the start of the second half. And St. Johnston, I reckon, will be anticipating that. So it really should be very interesting in the opening 10 minutes or so to see how these sides settle down. There's Cherry going in behind Kevin Drinkle, a hefty tackle. A free kick to Rangers. And there's going to be a spot of trouble for Sammy Johnston for what's spoken out of town. Well, I really cannot understand why a player should jeopardise his place in any team by being group for descent in such a fashion. Free kick, 
goes Walters. It's carefully watched over the top by Balovic. So, a crowded penalty area, but Mark Walters sneaked in there to get the header towards Balovic, but it was a couple of feet too high. against John Balavage for well, the time taken and possession inside his box he was watching that very carefully indeed Balavage clearly upset an explanation given to the St Johnston defenders by referee Waddle now here's a great opportunity for Rangers the referee insisting that the 10 yard rule is obeyed will be indirect Inside the box. And John Balovic has been very much a hero so far for St Johnston. We're very anxious to see this incident over. They're still in shot. It's blocked. There's Munro. Butch are still forward. Here's Roddy Grant running into Munro. And it's away for a goal kick to St Johnston. And a great deal of relief there for John Balovic in the St Johnston goal. of Davy Cooper. Money in the St Johnston camp about Tommy Coyle, who's been looking a little bit uncertain. There's going to be a change indeed made by St Johnston. They're taking off the injured Tommy Coyle and replacing him with a powerful figure of John Irvin. This understanding between Butcher and Stevens comes to no harm for Rangers as Wilkins picks it up. This is Cooper. Whenever Cooper came on, the task of marking him was delegated to Ian Heddle. Clearance by McVicker, that'll be a throw to Rangers. and what a relief man he was to see that hit the side netting. phase in the match when stamina will tell and when full-time training may well show against the part-timers from Perth. 
And here's David Cooper for Rangers. Oh, that's good defensive play by Cherry. Put in the pressure though by Cooper. Wilkins plays it wide for Stevens. That's inside Thompson for Walters. Great chance for Rangers. Cross it goes to Cooper. Trying to take on Sammy Johnston. The young number 10 did well. Standing his ground, keeping his eye on the ball. Back helping in defence. Goes Goff. The referee acknowledging the linesman's flag at the near side. There was an offside against one of the St. Johnston strikers, so the free kick is taken by Goff. Touched on by Drinkle for McCoist. Walters being challenged fiercely by Heddle. It's a throw to Rangers. A oh, good play by Walters. Trying to whip across an out swinger, but it was blocked. And it's a throw again to Rangers with Gary Stevens lining up the long one. Butcher goes forward. Up goes Butcher. Well, got lots of power into that, but too much height. Look at the way he attacks this ball in the air, though. Very powerful header under pressure. Butcher getting up well again. Here's Heddle. by Walters, there's Wilkins to Walters. Grant Jenkins trying to get back to make the tackle. Breaks in towards Drinkle. Barron is with him, and that'll be a corner kick to Rangers. The corner kick is taken by Davy Cooper. Headed away by Thompson. Headle involved straight away, and that's Stevens. Cooper again. Out by Grant this time. This is Irvin. Cross it goes to Heddle. This is Johnston. Wilkins collects in midfield for Rangers. Calmly picks out John Brown on the near side. Now Walters. Far post cross, Trinkle gets up well, there's McCoyce waiting in the middle, but Big Vicar did well, this is Walters. And the referee waves aside, appeals for a penalty kick. Paul Cherry made the challenge on Walters. Well, a fine cross initially this was, Trinkle got up well, McCoyce looking for the acrobatic effort, Big Vicar touched it on. There was Mark Walters going past Cherry well, and may well have been some concern in the mind of the referee about that. So St. Johnston will make their second substitution. They're taking off Ian Heddle, who's clearly struggling badly with that leg injury. And the replacement is young 19-year-old Mike Smith. Header collected by Smith. Stevens wins it back for Rangers. Through the middle it goes for McCoyst. And superb goalkeeping by Balavage. Rangers players claiming that Balavage came out of his box. The referee looked across at his linesman who kept his flag down. John Irvin's head flick and turned back by Stevens. There's Chris Woods launching the long ball forward. Came off the head of Cherry. There's McCoyst. The save made by Balavage, it's about the first clear chance of the match for Ali McCoyst. In injury time, 
came off the head of Cherry, there was McCoy on his left foot, and Balovic in just the right place. And the intense pressure from McCoy. Grant nodding it on there, Stevens covering Irvin. And there goes the final whistle. St Johnston have forced a replay with an amazing performance here at Celtic Park. The celebrations begin in the St Johnston camp. Their fans are clearly delighted with what has been a superlative performance from the first division side. We've battled with enormous credit right from the start. They've attacked whenever they could, they've defended in determined fashion. They've been a credit to the town, a credit to the club. And Rangers, on the other hand, never allowed to get going, never displayed the talents of which we know they're capable. And they realise now, if they rained out before, that going through to the Scottish Cup final is anything but a formality. And when these sides meet again on Tuesday night, you can be sure it'll be a tremendous struggle once more. But for the St Johnston players, it's a moment to savour. The day when they held the mighty Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final, they go now to acclaim their fans, and they really do deserve to enjoy this moment to the full. The final score, St Johnston nil, Rangers nil, the replay to come on Tuesday night.